Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Stellaris. Just having a little look at uh, the map in general and trying to decide where we want to move next. Uh, we're building up quite a bit of influence which is great. Uh, we're going to have to, oh I think they're, they're going to take Bralix aren't they? We're going to need another 145 before we can do it so we're probably going to end up coming across Research by Hicklam. Oh, we've got some technology done. Crystal infused plating, hell yeah. That is lovely. What have we got next? So I'm gonna to want to retrofit our existing components. Hmm. High rate of fire ballistic cannon. Mineral purification plants. Well, this is the uh, uh, the cheapest one, so let's go for this first. I am tempted to go for the auto cannons, but that's going to be quite a bit longer for us to do. Thirty three months on this would be fine. Uh, right, let's get not to there. Let's get to the ship designer, and we'll have a look. Firstly, at the Grieving Talon. So crystal infused plating, that improves the hull points. And what? It costs rare crystals. Oh, I see. Well, we don't have any rare crystals at the moment. It is a significant step up in terms of of hull plating though, it's like double the amount. I'm also surprised the nano composite armor. I suppose this yeah this one does uh, it does hit points rather than rather than armor, doesn't it? So yeah it's it's kinda like ablative. Okay, well in that case we're not gonna need to rejig any of our designs because we, we're not going to be able to actually build them but it's still very cool to see yeah that thing's totally taking bralix so we're gonna have to come down via hit clam special project concluded they're ancient mining drones that we found. That would be down this little neck of the woods. Report of deep space drones in certain systems have been investigated. And the drones appear to be workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation. Established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves. Judging by the state of the processing equipment, the purpose is obvious enough, mining. But who it is that tasks them is not immediately apparent. What is obvious is that no shipment of minerals has been retrieved from the system in hundreds if not thousands of years. There may be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch. Okay. Situation log updated. So we've got a drone study available. Yeah. That seems like a very reasonable thing for us to take the time to do. Oh yeah, there. System survey concluded. They totally snuck in. They got this one and then immediately... Oh no, they just jumped straight here. So they don't have anything on this one. Right, where do we just survey Rigel? Great. Yeah, let's... Let's go this way first. <laughs> Insulting Cresley and Envoy. It appears that a mischievous third party was able to hack into the translation software of the Cresley and Envoy to Inaris. So that instead of uttering magnanimous platitudes, they began spewing vicious insults that left none unscathed. The malfunctioning of their equipment was duly uncovered, but not before Primus Blackwing X Tech was declared to be a vile buzzard. A grave insult which surely comes for a response. Hmm. 
Okay, well. I do want the influence. And I'm fine with us losing some opinion on them. Because we do eventually want to go to war with them. So we'll say how rude and we'll get the, uh, the influence from that. There is no point with you being over here anymore. Let's move you in. We only need 98 to be able to claim this. I'm wondering if Research I should concluded. make another destroyer. Right. Plumes of gold has gained a level. That's great. Plasma throw is right now. It's time for us to <laughs> to revamp weapons that eject destructive balls of high energy plasma. A UV laser barrier point defense. Hmm? Let's um let's go for the basic combat rolls. I'm sure that there'll be something useful that that ends up leading to. And uh, again, we'll have a look at the ships. So what's the auto good one now? It's got the Sentinel point defense. Oh, I see. Yeah, proper, proper point defense. Which does like no damage to armor, but does a reasonable amount of damage to, I'm guessing, missiles and things. Yeah, that does that does energy point defense. Hello, Amos. Amos is my cat for those that uh, haven't been following the channel for a while. Okay, let's have a look at the auto grieving claw. Oh yeah, massively reduced shield damage. But massively increased armor damage. Holy wow. Yeah, I think we'll go for something quite similar. So we're going to want at least two coil guns. In fact, we'll have we'll have one in each place. And then we'll go for the big ass plasma throwers. The damage is actually a little bit. L oh, uh, hang on, wait. No, let's compare it properly. So the damage is a little bit more overall. I think this is a, a good setup. This does mean we're going to need a little bit more power. So what I'll do is I'll actually swap this for armor. And that'll solve that problem. So we'll save this. And we'll send our lovely fleet. Go and get an upgrade. And in fact, this fleet we can we can retrofit them into destroyers. I don't know why I haven't done this before now. Uh, into bloodstained claws, yeah. No, retrofit them into that. Uh, so now we need to select them. Did that actually? No, it didn't. Oh, it still still had the other fleet selected, didn't it? Of course, because it doesn't like that. So yeah, we can only retrofit them to one of the the same class. Well, let's put plasma throwers on 
Our Corvettes as well. So we'll have a coil gun, two plasma throwers. Down here we'll have two lots of deflectors. One lot of deflector actually. Oh, actually, we could have one big and one small. Yeah. So that gives us the deformers. You guys can just get yourself upgraded. Ship management's important. A hey, scientist clause of green has gained a level. Now these leaders that are gaining levels are not going to live forever. And so we are going to have to hire new ones at some point. But for now, for now that we're has been supplied. Lovely. That is exactly what I want to see. In fact, while we're here, I will get another... You actually need four, so reinforce that now. We've got the naval capacity, so there's no reason to not enjoy it. Eighty-two more influence will get us jumping, jumping the bridge. Yeah, this does connect up here, so th this would end up being quite a dangerous little place to be, but in fact, would it be, I wonder if it'd be better going this way, one, one, two, no, it would be way worse going that way around. To establish a sector, first select a planet in frontier space and press the create sector button. This will make the planet the capital of a new sector and all frontier space systems within six hyperjumps will be added to it. Sectors may automate the construction of planetary buildings on planets within them if this option is enabled and they are given resources, greatly reducing the need for micromanagement. I mean that does that does make a lot of sense. So if we if we select Haldus Prime, there we go, create a new sector. Now I said anything within six jumps. And we can get ourselves a new governor. Uh, yeah, we want intellectual. So we've got Inaris and Haldus Prime. Although I'm surprised it hasn't actually kind of listed it under it. The planets and sectors screen provides an overview of all our colonized worlds, their pops, and their resource output. As our empire grows, it can be organized into sectors, which are helpful for administering larger empires. Sectors can be automated here, and if they are automated, they can be given a specialization and resources to enable planets within them to construct their own buildings. Ah. Yeah, let's, um, let's have a shared stockpile. And I'd like to say that, that monthly they can do their own things, but focus on research. You're also going to focus on, re I mean, everyone's focusing on research at the moment.
yeah, it's uh, it's interesting that these numbers don't don't work out up to the what we mm -hmm. have at the top. I'll have to learn a little bit more about mm -hmm. that, but I won't just uh, stay watching. I'll have to we'll have to see. It also might take a moment for this to to update and figure out where things are. So that's one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, five jumps to get to the edge of what we consider As our, our space. As our grows, new colonies can be organized into sectors. Sectors can be managed from the planets and sectors screen to automatically build and upgrade this. Thanks, that's... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it has properly done it. It just took a moment. Well, that makes me feel a bit better. I mean, I had worried that um, Haldus was going to vanish so we don't have anything down this little Fleet net supplied. so it's probably not worth us considering that how much 56 more you're still working down here receiving transmission not aggression pact. Oh no. No thank you. I wonder if they're getting worried about my uh, my fleets. Okay, let's have a little uh, look at them. Their fleet power is superior, their technology level is inferior. Yeah, so by focusing our resources right at the start, I think we've done the right thing. System survey concluded. It's funny, I asked about it just before it finishes doing its job. Move on and do the next one, Third Eye. Research concluded. Oh, that's more interesting. Atmospheric filtering. Habitability goes up. We'll get some new research on the go. Uh, yeah, let's do the, the cheap one. It'll be done relatively quickly. And uh, in the meantime, we can have a look at in our the expansion, expansion plan. We find nearby habitable planets that may present opportunities for colonization. We can build colony ships and issue them orders directly from this screen. 25% habitable, that's better than it was. It's still not great. And that's actually in, in both of these. So these would these would fall directly into the Inaris sector anyway. Inarai, are you done as well? Yeah, you just finished. Uh, let's pause it and knowing that that hooks up up there, I'll actually bring you this way first so we can see how much this area is looking to be worth securing. I mean, whatever we build here, we're going to have to build a massive Initial colonization star phase base. complete. Holder Secundus is done. That Holder system is is going to be one of our shining jewels. Oh, actually, it looks like there's more energy credits we could get here. Yeah, on Holder's five. Damn it! That means I'm going to need to bring one of my construction ships back. So I've got one there. Where did I leave the other one? <laughs> No, oh, they're both in the same system. All right, well, you can come up here. Because I don't want to build another construction ship just to come all the way back and sort that out. It'll take him a while, but it's, it's not urgent anyway.
special project concluded. All right, so the mining drone work ethic has been completed. The drones are remarkably efficient, squeezing ever diminishing returns from the rocks harm miners would have soon discarded, deemed exhaustive of all worthwhile mineral content. Our top engineers are working on adapting the drone's methodology for use in our mining networks and stations, which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening energy expenditure. Of lesser import is the fact the drones are not completely silent. Contrary to previous assumptions, they emit signal pings that are extremely infrequent and not a wavelength that's easy to locate from background noise. There's anyone that left to read these pings, maybe mystery for another time. We can improve our damage against them 33%, or improve our mineral station output. Let's improve our mineral station output. We're probably going to fight them at some point, but it's not going to be enough of a ongoing combat, I don't think. For us to really need that extra damage. Of course, I've been wrong in the past. There's a significant chance I could end up being wrong here. Uh, murder of Fidget. Let's, uh... Let's give you Bloodstained Claws as well. I'll give you two. So they'll have a little bit of flexibility with uh, destroyers backing up their you with your science ship. Uh, destroyers backing up the corvettes. Hey, we can we can afford it. Let's get a starbase. This is going to be ours. We're going to have our own little pocket down here. I'm sure this is going to be a terrible plan. That's a lot of influence that we've just spent. That could have gone on edicts and, and other things. Research concluded. All right, basic combat roles has been completed. Chemical plants turn minerals into volatile moat. FTL inhibitors. That's that's probably a really sensible thing. If we go for FTL inhibitors now, we'll be able to put them on system survey concluded on whatever it is that we produce there. Uh, you've finished in Jundis. And that is actually the the end of the line there, isn't it? Okay. Well, well let's blitz through these ones. That's a sensible choice. And then we'll push through uh, the collective space. Scientist gained a trade. Leader Isaac Green is leveled up and gained a new trait. So what trait have you gained? Probably archaeologist. How old are you? 58. I don't know how old they can get to at the moment, but uh... Construction project concluded. Good job, good job. We'll start with the energy credits. And then we'll get the research station. Then we'll get the mining station. This here, we want to upgrade it, but we're going to need 43 more alloys before we can do that. But yeah, we definitely want to upgrade that one. Thinking I, what are you doing? Are you just waiting up there? Yeah, you've done everything that you needed to do. Uh come down here and join the party as well. You can You can survey this. System survey concluded without incident. Governor Eyes of Ivory in the Halder sector has leveled up. What if our technology screen 
ends up getting split by sector. It doesn't look like it. Receiving transmission. Defensive pact. Oh no, no, we're we're not going to be looking to defend you, friends. Friends. Evading hostiles. Oh, damn it, shardlings. Uh, let's bring you guys down here. You guys as well. Crystal shardlings. Well, we gotta wait. But yeah, we're gonna have to do quite a bit if we want to take them out. I wonder if we've got enough to do this upgrade. Yeah, let's get that going now. I think we might need some defense platforms as well, but... Ooh, a galactic community! 2228. As more and more spacefaring civilizations establish formal relations with one another, the, gal uh, the galaxy is becoming a vibrant and lively place. To avoid tragic misunderstandings between nations, an increasing number of diplomats have called for the establishment of a new pangalactic organization, a community, if you will, where the empires of the galaxy can meet to discuss the important matters. Should we be part of it? Uh, yeah, this is a relatively worthy endeavor. Ooh, associated Netraxi stars branched out over there as well. I'm sure it will form soon enough. So as soon as you're done with that, we can probably claim Rigel. We have discovered a primitive civilization. Ooh, some would dismiss these aliens as little more than filthy savages. But there are those who see merit in studying their culture, such as it is. Okay. We've detected the presence of primitive alien civilization on Lingalol 1. Uh, where the hell is... Ah, up there. They're in the Renaissance. <laughs> Brilliant. Having recently left the Middle Ages behind them. Scientific knowledge is spreading rapidly in the armies of the Petty Kingdom recruit with crude gunpowder-based projectile weapons. Yeah, we'll work our way up there and, and build an observation post. Research concluded. Yeah. Naval capacity from soldier jobs and defense army damage is up. Let's get some new research. Of course, we need to actually have defense armies. Ooh, fleet academy. What does this do? Ship starting experience is improved. So gene clinics. No. Fortress. Requires volatile moats, so that's not really going to be a thing. Let's go with the interstellar fleet traditions. And speaking of traditions, we're getting quite a lot of unity. How long is it going to be until our next thing? 11 months. Yeah, but having to move our fleets through like this is inconvenient. Construction project concluded. Uh, I need you to move up to Rigel because that's going to be where you claim next. Yeah, between the two of them, they're not strong enough. I'm going to want Hicklam to have a shipyard. But actually, no, I'll want Rigel to have a shipyard. System survey concluded. Great. Survey this one. Uh, you get a star base here. This is all kind of coming together, isn't it?
he says, hoping that he's not just fooling himself. Uh, so in the situation log, it wants us to do the observation post. Uh, we'll need to obviously make our way up there in order to do that. Construction project concluded. Lovely. In here, we'll start with the research. Then we'll get that. We can't really do the mining station there because it needs ZRO distribution, but we have at least captured some more ZRO. So you do those three. Construction project concluded. Okay, Hicklam Starbase. Even more and more. Hell, yeah, we need uh, we need a shipyard here. Uh, but even more and more, I'm thinking we're going to need to defend ourselves. Let's get a gun battery, and then down here. Possibly the. Disruption field generator. Well, the comms jammer. No, tar target uplink. We'll need uh, 60. S Hell, let's let's buy them now. We still need 42. There we go. So getting a shipyard here will mean we can make uh, one of them based here and uh, we can reinforce from here. Right, so we've got a couple of things. Primus Blackwing's X-Stack has gained... New skills. Eye for talent. Leader level cap increased. Great. Charismatic. And an investor. And this is a historic day. Uh, th really, that should be this is an historic day, but uh, whatever. Uh, several of the galaxy's prominent spacefaring empires, including the Han Sovereignty, have announced the creation of the galactic community. This superannulation organization will serve as a forum where matters involving the entire galaxy can be discussed and decided upon. As one of its founding members, we can take pride in this milestone. Sure, that's a great day, right? Let's, Welcome let's to the galactic have a look at this. Where diplomats from around yeah, I'm sure I can figure it out. Resolutions can be proposed from the resolution tab. Signing an envoy will increase our diplomatic weight. Okay, so we've actually got the most diplomatic weight. The resolution screen is a list of the currently enacted resolutions. You may propose a new resolution by selecting it from a resolution chain, which will cost you influence. I see. So if we want to... Diplomatic weight from technology, research station output... Start it. Yeah, so that's the kind of thing I want, so I need to, to work on my influence before we do this. Okay. The Senate floor. Learning how it goes. System survey concluded. Good job, you can move on to the next one. I mean, really, I'm going to want to get this area secured before we start proposing anything, but we can at least back or not back different things in the galactic community when the opportunity presents itself. That is both fleets good. Hey, and we get a new tradition. So, this is the point when 
getting star base damage increase, defense platform build cost, and star base upgrade cost reduced. Hmm. More star base capacity. Now let's let's do the great game first. So it's going to be 68 months until we can start moving towards war games and things. But I think this is uh, this is going to be good for now. I wonder if anyone's research actually, concluded actually at war yet. Mining subsidies uh, for edicts, which we're not going to do, and uh, mining purification plants. This is mostly to clear it out of our research queue. Hmm. So would ion thrusters be better for our ships? I guess it probably would. Or oh, star holds. These are all good. I think I want to push towards star hold, so it's going to take a long time, but it, they're star System holds. System survey concluded. Ooh. The curator order has a station in the system. Uh, you come down here. I think we'll end up moving up that direction. In fact, no, we'll... It would make sense for us to go for this system first. It is better for research. Construction project concluded. Pause these for a moment. Uh, you guys are actually going to be Hicklem. Upgrade. Upgrade. Thank you. Uh, where about see you? Oh, that's up in Holdus. Well, we're, we're going to bring you back. That's for certain. Now that we've got that being built, hopefully our energy credits will become positive, but we need you all the way down here. Abandoned terraforming equipment. Since our initial uh, settlement of Haldus Secundus, several anomalies in the moon's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to the projected models for the world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming process, leaving the moon's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result would be. Oh. Oh. Situation log updated. That sounds dangerous. Dismantling the equipment or resuming it. So this was Halda Secundus, which is 60% habitable. Let's have a look at our research. I don't want to put engineering on hold. <laughs> so we're going to do the resume the process. That's the best way to decide what, what does the Empire need. Fleet enhancement supplied. As a whole. Yeah, awesome. So... Kind of want to save Fleet our allies, but I also supplied. want to go and kick their ass. Mm. 
I really should wait until we have overwhelming force before we do that though. Um, let's uh, let's get a new admiral. Construction project concluded. Lovely. Are we able to take this yet? Not yet. Ten. Well, start moving across because you'll be able to get it soon. And then what we might do is go here and then here. And then we'll come back and do the others. One more influence. Oh, there's something going on at the Galactic Community. System survey concluded. Uh, you can move on to survey up here. And that means the thinking eye is now doing nothing, so you can move up here. Right, what's going Research on? Research concluded in the Galactic Community. The readied shield diplomatic weight from fleet power increased naval capacity and increased chip upkeep yeah i'm okay with that their fleet power is significantly better than ours but we're going to be building more so i'm fine with that oh yeah our diplomatic weight is not looking as good Oh, the technocracy did join. Okay. Uh, right. So that was done. Technology researched. FTL inhibitors. Uh, let's get a new one. Ooh. Curator Exploration Lab, which gives us plus 33% survey speed. Or I mean, these would be lovely to get early on. Gravitic Sensors. And a listening post might be useful. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for this. There's really not that much left of the galaxy to to survey. Oh wow, it's filled in the um, the rest of them. All right, before we pick this, let's let's see what we've got. So one of our shi uh, ships has gone missing in action. That's because they just claimed this. They just jumped across to make sure we didn't get it. Probably because of those uh, uh, the trade value. I understand it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're gone, but they'll be back. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose there's, st there's still this bit that's unexplored, but it's not worth us getting an exploration lab for that. So we're getting disruptors. Mm -hmm. Right, well, if you've actually got nothing left to do, let's send you that way. Did you also go missing? Yeah, missing an action. You're a little bit closer. No route. Oh yeah, there's there's no direct route through here. So how how did they make contact? Oh, through a wormhole. Okay. 
Well, you can also head down and do that system. Uh, what else is going on up here? Cooperative research channels. Yeah, sure. I'll get behind that. I'm all about the research. I mean, them, them hopping that is annoying, but it's understandable. You guys are going down that way. Good. Soon as the inner eye returns. Well, it's going to take months to return. Construction project concluded. Great. Take this. Take this. Take this. That's one, two, three, four. This, I'm going to want to upgrade it and turn it into a trade hub. We don't have the influence to expand to any others yet. But probably desk pad and then the black hole. Would be the way to do it. Okay, I think it's time we start selling some of our food stockpile. And build up our fleet a little bit further. So let's go to the fleet manager. You're still waiting on one. Which might be on its way down. give you two that you're supposed to have we'll give you another one that you're supposed to have that oh, was someone gaining a level let's buy some buy some alloys so the fleet manager three ships for 732 alloys we can only afford two so we need Another hundred alloys. It's taking quite a lot of our money. Construction project concluded. Oh, wait, we get FTL inhibitors on each of our things. All right, so hit clamp. Yeah, FTL inhibitors are actually really handy. They're going to work. Senate is now in session. The Senate floor is in session. Gal uh, Galactic community is now voting on a new resolution. Uh, yeah, let's. We've already marked ourselves as in support. Uh, let's pause that. The Technocracy and the Quark Empire have entered a research agreement. Hmm. Sir. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to just leave ourselves in support of that. And the defensive pack. So that's these guys. Let's uh, pause. I said pause. Ah, uh, and these guys. Yeah, so they've uh, they've made a bit of a, a bridge. So they're kind of squidging the Sinar Interstellar Union or the Talaxi Collective. 
So that's commercial pact. Right, we're receiving a transmission from an independent state station of the Arsenal troop. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Okay. A visitor! This is a joyous occasion indeed! Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Arts and Troop. Our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, culture, and all other things that make existence bearable to a sapient being. Please, if you'd like to share in the wonder of our creations, do not hesitate to contact us. Alright, let's, um, let's have a look and see what they do from up here. So to organise a festival, they need to like us. Uh, we want to commission an art piece. Hmm. Or we wish to become your patron. It's expensive. But it is 10 years. To get 10% more unity as well. Sure, let's do that. Commissioning an art piece. Uh, no, nah, we'll we'll leave it at that for the moment. I kind of feel like I need our money. Right, so they did a defensive pack. They did a commercial pack. They're they're doing all of their influence into that. Uh, where are our construction ships? You are on your way up there. Uh, let's actually get you to go straight over here. Might be a bit risky. Construction project concluded. Jumping quite that far. Right. Over here, what are we gonna do with you? I said we were gonna have a trade hub. It's gonna take 50. Probably an off world trading company as well. Although, actually, without that, it's not worth getting the off-world trading company. Just a trade hub, I think, would be fine. But uh, regardless, we need uh, we need more resources before we do that. You're still building? Good. Empire Sprawl has just gone over what we should be able to do. Oh, geez, I'm actually forgetting about all the potential planets and things. Okay, so we would need more admin offices somewhere. This one can support additional buildings. Let's get an admin office there. This one can support an additional building. Let's get an admin office here with so many materials. Actually, we can, we can sell a whole bunch of these. That brings us back down to a happier level. And we can do a little bit more. One, two. And I want to check. You've got two populations. You don't have any other districts. So let's... Let's start getting you extra housing. And a way of making some money. Over here, you're in the same place. So, one, two. Kegarus, you've still got five available housing. You've got one available housing, so really you need something after that. You've got two available housing, so you're okay for the moment. Mm -hmm. 
not quite getting the amenities that we need, but I'm sure, sure we'll be able to sort that out. Special project included. Well, Empire management is is difficult. The aborted terraforming process on Helder Secundus has finally been completed. After seeding the atmosphere with billions of nanites, the alien bioengineering machinery has significantly altered conditions on the moon's surface. The ecosystem and climate have both stabilised and new alien biodata adapted to this climate has been introduced. As luck would have it, the moon is now a veritable paradise for Hans. Yeah! The new climate appears more suited to our kind than in ours itself. It's a Gaia world. Ah, oh, that's that's absolutely amazing. Well, this is a this is a happy day for the Hans. A happy day indeed. And uh, with that, that's going to be a good point for us to finish off this episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I do hope you are continuing to uh, enjoy this. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Stellaris. Construction project concluded. See you soon.